Obahin bebre na no opoku are no ma wa no Asante kwa toko no no so ni ebe di akun abua bua wo Eti one to na sa kra bua That was Eto he say sweet is calling to check on me <laughs> Okay et, et, yeah, Eto is who is that clear I don't think I've heard he's his name He's our business before. manager. Oh, he's your business manager. Okay. No, okay. no, no. He's, he's, yeah, he's in loads of videos. He's always in videos. He's our business manager. We have a team. So, un, unlike what people are, are giving the impression. <laughs> That's one, why I say they do things band, online. Yeah? I don't live in YouTube. No, not at all. There's, um, there's uh, Bode who's in the UK. Sam Taylor who's in the UK. There's Eto who's here. I mean, you would have seen Bode anyway because... When he was here, you would have seen him in the videos. Um, Sam Taylor's been on loads of lives. Sam Taylor works in a different department. But everybody's got their own department. And um, uh, Eto is the business manager. And he deals with mainly all of anything to do with working with the state agents, land agents, repar uh, reparations and repatriation packages. Oh. So that's his forte. That's what he does. And um, Eto is Gambian, but he obviously he went to university in England, and so he's a very good business manager, and he works as part of the team. We have an in-house lawyer who's called Mohammed Dean. Uh, we have an administrator called Fatou Mata. Uh, we also have a an assistant uh, who's called Muta Baruka. Muta Baruka. And, um, <laughs> She actually sent me the money to do her land processing. She got her Alcalo transfer on the 10th of June. And then she gave me the money to do her land processing on the 15th of June. Um, unfortunately, I fell ill with food poisoning. That was during the heavy rainy season last year. And then after the food poisoning, um, Adrian and I, we both got pneumonia. And we were sick for... To seven to eight weeks we were off actually and also there was a, a lot of flooding so people weren't able to move around um, freely because we had an unusually um, heavy rainy season yeah. and also we had uh, the COVID curfews as well which also slowed everything down Hello and welcome to another day in paradise and welcome to another edition of the unapologetic negropian in today's video in today's video we're going to start off with a question how would you define what a professional is what would you expect from a professional service now there isn't many answers to this if you have a professional service, then you would expect the person to act and behave in a certain way. When you go to these massive companies, these people are trained professionals. So they've been trained in the activity of communicating with you, especially customer service agents. They know what they are doing. They are trained to do it in a specific way in which if you go over to Canada or if you go all the way down to Australia or to Nigeria, if the customer service has been trained to a professional degree, you will get the same level of service across all those particular countries. You might have found it a little bit more difficult to try and define what a professional service is. Which is funny because I found it difficult to define what a professional service is, but I still know what to expect from a professional service. I don't expect that person to speak to me in a non-professional tone, to speak to me as if it is personal. I don't expect that person to offend me. I don't expect that person to lie about me behind my back. When you go to Blacksit, in certain degrees, you will get a professional service for now. But right now, a lot of professionals are choosing not to work with Blacksit. Why? Well, that's what we're going to get into today. First, I'm going to ask you to please like, subscribe, share, click the bell notification, and please consider supporting the channel on our Patreon, link in the description. I'd also like to invite you to please follow the Oversight channel, the channel that is there to help you to invest on the African continent, both safely and securely. Link also in the description. So let's try and answer this question. Is Blacksit a professional organization? This is a difficult one to answer because Blacksit herself 
is the type of person who has the power to coerce and influence people into doing things a lot of the times that they don't want to do. She is a saleswoman. She can sell herself and she can sell her business. And as you can see, she has also been selling Pan-Africanism, using it as some sort of incubator to further her own business interests. But what about the people in the organization? Blacksit had a number of people that worked for her that chose to walk away from the organization. One of those people was Peter, the driver. You out there, Pete? <laughs> yeah, I'm a Gambian and I work with Black Seat. I'm the right hand of <laughs> Juliet. She's, he's my right hand. Yeah, he's my right hand man. Someone that I don't know very much about, but I have seen him in a couple of videos. I mentioned him in a video I made a couple of days ago, actually. You might have remembered. Pete, the driver, chose to walk away from the company. Why? because he realized that the company was a very unprofessional outfit. Blacksit didn't see the company as a separate entity to her. She was there to use the company, and this is the problem. So she used the company for her own personal benefit, something which is extremely unprofessional. Pete was simply a driver, a paid driver, a professional, paid driver. Regardless of him just being a driver, that doesn't mean he shouldn't be treated in a professional manner. Pete felt like he was underappreciated, underpaid and used. A purchasing property, purchasing land, purchasing a house, it needs to be done through people who are representative of their profession, people who have been trained, people who have the skill, the knowledge, the know-how. Laxit is nothing more than an opportunist. She is perhaps a professional opportunist, but nothing more, nothing less. She isn't a professional real estate broker. If she was a professional real estate broker, she wouldn't be in the situation that she faces right now. She wouldn't have hordes of people still waiting for their money or waiting for their Arcalo papers. She wouldn't be going onto YouTube pointing fingers at other people for problems that she helped create. It is clear that she is having problems because now all the people that are professionals in her organization have chosen to walk away from her organization, which means her organization is even less professional as it was before in the past. Now her lawyer, the lawyer that she has touted to everyone as being the best lawyer that you can get, even he has chosen to walk away from the organization. I haven't seen him. I haven't seen her speak about him. I haven't had a cease and desist in a long time. Why? Because her professional lawyer has chosen to walk away. And why wouldn't you? I took a look online to see how professional lawyers are actually regulated in the Gambia. And in order to practice law in the Gambia, you need to have your license renewed annually, which means lawyers are highly regulated in the Gambia. This means that if this particular lawyer was going to go for his license again and they hear that he has been working with people who have been arrested, that is being looked at by the police, that is being investigated, this lawyer or any other lawyer could lose their license if they are deemed to have been working with Blacksit at that time. So, Who's going to take that risk and work with Blacksit for the few pennies that she has to offer? Not one lawyer would do that. So guys, I didn't want to say this again, but that's another reason why you should perhaps reconsider going through Blacksit to buy your land or to buy your property. You have somebody who doesn't mind bending the rules and breaking them in some cases as long as she can get away with it. And that is the problem. You have a person that has no integrity, has no honor, who has no code. This person doesn't feel any sense of responsibility if things go wrong. And that is not the type of person that you want helping you to buy your property in the Gambia. So guys, I was going to ask if any of you had any problems with the professionalism with Blacksit. Because I know tons of you have. Let me know the experience that you've had in the comment section below. It'd be really good to hear about it. Okay, guys, so that's all I've got time for for today. I'd like to thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'd like to give an extra special thank you to my Patreons, and I'll see you in the next one. Until the next time, please think twice. To our bit.
Amiga 